This video may cause cognitive dissonance, and it can cause you to start waking up from all the deception you have been exposed to. If you are codependent to the deceptions propagated by the narcissistic world order, I recommend you stop this video right now. Have you ever considered why there is so much disinformation about the origins of narcissism? Disinformation is mixing some truth with a lot of lies, so that deception is created. In this video, you will be able to understand the reason narcissists are antichrist, and the reason they are associated with Satanism. Once you understand this, you can choose your salvation path out of the narcissistic matrix through Christ. Narcissists are Nephilim, bloodlines hybrids. Narcissists are serious about abuse and blood rituals, because their desire for narcissistic traits, which are perfect for demonic energy, to enter. The fallen angels, were the first wave of narcissists arriving on this planet. Their breeding, with the daughters of man, was controversial and censored, by religion organizations. This breeding produced the Nephilim, the second wave of narcissists on this planet. Most of the Nephilim were cannibalistic and vicious. The Nephilim spread rapidly, corrupting man with deceptions. The Nephilim were intended to wipe out the bloodline of God, and God saw no other way, but to cleanse the earth of its evil, and preserve the line through, Noah. Two hundred angels, descended upon Mount Hermon, to teach man righteousness, instead, they fell into sin, with the daughters of man, after taking on the form of flesh, However, the history of the Nephilim has survived through Jewish rabbinical traditions and is mentioned by historians and biblical writings in the Christian canon. It is important to note that these teachings were widely spread and accepted by the early church fathers up until the 4th century. Many ancient Jewish sources tell us about the fall of the angels in heaven and the ones who fell coming upon the earth. This was a prophecy of God's bloodline winning over Satan's offspring. It first signified David, whom God chose to slay the remnants of the Nephilim in the flesh. The second part, was a prophecy of a later time, in which Jesus would come, and conquer the spiritual giants of sin, on the hill of Golgotha. This is also where, the Philistine Goliath's skull, was believed to be buried, hundreds of years before it by King David. Today, the Nephilim hybrids, are the narcissists, in pedophilia, human trafficking gangs, porn production, ringleaders, the gang stalking, ringleaders, and they could even be those, in the highest area of our society, the elite. These Nephilim hybrids, have become very human looking, compared to the ancient giant Goliath. They have infiltrated our churches, the corporations, the medical field, the education field, the government, and every other area of our society. They put out lie upon lie, about how great they are, and they probably believe, it is their egomaniacs, and they are delusional. You will know them by their fruit, because their fruit, comes directly from Satan. You must remember, they have zero empathy. No remorse for any action. Jesus Christ came, and died for our salvation, to set the captives free, and to destroy all the works of Satan. Let's be strong, and courageous in behalf of our wonderful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we conquer our areas of influence, more people will be one for the Lord and His Kingdom. Dear Father, help all of us to have supernatural strength and courage through our faith in You and Your great power. When the enemy comes in, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will rise up a mighty standard against him and his dupes. Father, You always cause Your beloved saints to triumph. Thank you, and may all glory go to God, in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. God bless you. Please, remember. Truth is freedom.